Hey everyone, this is going to be a quick comparison video between the Glorious Model D and the Razer Death Adder V2. These ergonomic gaming mice are among the best wired mice you can come by in 2020, but feature key differences which are going to be very important to consider if you're trying to choose between these two excellent mice. The biggest difference between the V2 and the Model D is that the V2 weighs 80 grams, while the Model D weighs 67. While that might not seem like much, it actually makes a huge difference. Moving the Death Adder V2 feels like moving a boulder, while the Model D feels like a polished pebble. There's just no way to debate the fact that the Model D's ultralight design is going to make it a better pick for games that demand pinpoint accuracy like shooter games. That doesn't mean the V2 isn't a better mouse in some respects. When it comes to the feel of each mouse, the Death Adder V2 feels like a super premium mouse. The details are nearly perfect. The scroll wheel is the best I've ever used, and it feels super solid and makes a very satisfying sort of chonk with each actuation. The back and forward buttons are also the best I've ever used, with a satisfying click and oversized design to ensure that they are totally usable and functional. Furthermore, the DPI adjustment features two buttons, one to go higher and one to go lower, which I haven't really seen on many other mice in this price range. Finally, the V2 features rubberized side grips, which I'm a fan of. However, in my opinion, the V2's left and right clicks are a little shallow, which echoes a similar complaint I had about the Razer Viper. It just seems like the switches Razer uses maximize a short travel distance and a muffled sound, which isn't my favorite, but it's not a deal breaker. Also, the coating Razer uses for the body of the mouth feels pretty rough and slightly abrasive, which is something you're going to be used to if you've encountered Razer mice before. The Model D, by comparison, feels soft to the touch. As for the Model D, when it comes to a head-to-head -head comparison with the details of the Death Adder V2, it simply falls short. The scroll wheel's mushy and not nearly as precise. It's definitely more slippery than the V2 scroll wheel, which has these sharp little bumps that offer a very nice grip. The Model D's back and forward buttons, while they are excellent, feel way more hollow than the V2's. And this speaks to a general contrast in feel between these two mice. The V2 feels extremely solid and well built, while the Model D feels pretty delicate. I think that each mouse really expresses its design philosophy really well, for better and for worse. Because Glorious decided to maximize the lightness of the mouse, it feels pretty unsubstantial and almost fragile, while the V2 went for a more traditional yet robust mouse design that almost feels like an armored car. While this might seem like a complete victory for Razer, performance tells a different story. In my opinion, the total mobility of the Model D simply makes it a better mouse for the purpose of gaming. I like playing first person shooter games, and I like to play on a low DPI, and I also like to use a pretty big mouse pad. So it's typical for me to swing the mouse around pretty liberally as I'm aiming and quickly turning around and things like that. These actions aren't so easily done on the V2, which is heavier and definitely more fatiguing to use over time. The Death Adder V2 feels really back heavy, which probably isn't such a problem if you use a palm grip, but for fingertip grips it's going to be a lot more work to move around. I find that I have to compensate by using the mouse on a higher DPI, which is fine, but not my preference. The V2 definitely falls a bit short compared to the Model D in first person shooters, but is fine for games like League. But the Model D is also fine for games like League, which means the Model D is simply more versatile for gaming than the V2. Furthermore, the Model D has a friendlier shape in my opinion, as the mouse click buttons are straightforward, whereas the Death Adder mouse click buttons flare out and force your grip to widen. If you use a fingertip grip like myself, chances are you're going to prefer the Model D. So whichever mouse you're going to prefer depends largely on your main intended use for the mouse. If you tend to use a higher DPI, and maybe even if you prefer a heavier mouse for whatever reason, the Death Adder V2 wins because it feels more solid and is quite comfortable to hold and satisfying to use. However, the Model D's mobility and friendly grip make it a more controllable mouse, so it's going to get my nomination for the better gaming mouse between these two.